After rigorous testing, Consumer Reports found Apple's new flagship phone, the $1,000 glass front and back iPhone X is one of the best smartphones you can buy. But it scored slightly lower than the less expensive iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, mainly because it is more susceptible to breakage. The final test scores of the iPhone 8s and 10 are very close. So which phone is right for you? It really comes down to personal preference. A closer look at our test results and a side-by-side -side comparison of the phones can help you decide. Simply put, performance in the tumble test made the biggest difference between the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8's scores. We've tested several iPhone 10s in our tumbling drum. One phone suffered major glass damage on the back after 100 drops. After 50, two others had defects in their screens. The front glass did not crack on any of the iPhone 10s we tested. Bottom line, we highly recommend using a case since repairs without Apple Care insurance can cost hundreds of dollars. Both the iPhone 8 models, also made with glass on the front and back, passed the tumble test with only a few scrapes. The iPhone 10s aren't the first phones to fail our tumble test. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8s and S8s failed with broken backs and displays. In our other durability tests, the iPhone 10 did just fine when scratched and checked for water resistance. The same goes for the iPhone 8s. Our tests show iPhones have shorter battery life when compared to other phones like the Samsung Galaxy S8, which has 26 hours of battery. In our tests, the iPhone 10's battery lasted 19 and a half hours when this robotic arm made calls, surfed the web, took pictures, and simulated using GPS navigation. The iPhone 8's battery lasted 19 hours. Both phones offer wireless charging. The dual camera on the back of the iPhone 10 is the best we've tested and is the top scoring camera in our ratings. The wide angle and telephoto cameras both have optical image stabilization, improving test shots compared to previous iPhones, including the 8. Even though the 8 has only a single back camera, it's the second best camera of the smartphones currently in our ratings. The iPhone X includes facial recognition technology called Face ID, which replaces Apple's fingerprint technology, Touch ID, still on the iPhone 8. In our tests, we found Face ID works very quickly and was not fooled by tests meant to confuse it. Both phones can also be unlocked using a six-digit code. The 10 is slightly larger than the 8 and has a 5.8-inch display. The 8 is 4.7 inches, the 8 Plus 5.5 inches. Because there's no home button, the 10 has a new set of swipes and gesture commands that you'll have to learn, while the 8s retain the ones familiar to Apple users. And finally, there's the cost. The iPhone 10 starts at $1,000, the 8 starts at $700. In response to our tumble test results, Apple affirmed the iPhone X's durability based on the company's, quote, rigorous real-world testing, and said the phone is, quote, made from the most durable glass ever in a smartphone. Subscribers can see our full smartphone ratings at consumerreports.org.